Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. So I'm going to be doing a video that is a little different than most of the other videos I do. This is not about um, celebrities. This is really more so for the benefit of my clients and people that have come to me and asked for guidance and who usually have the same thing to say after each of my readings, which is about... Um, their soul origins this is about their soul origins i know this video may not be relevant for most people but i wanted to make this video as a reference for those clients uh this is going to be a video about crystal children this is not going to be a video about indigo children because i really don't see them that often um a lot of my clients are the, of the ages of 50 years old and under. I'm not sure what year people have said indigo children were born. I'm just not really 100% sure um, on everything about indigo children. This is going to be about crystal children because lately in the past, probably since December, uh, a lot of crystal children have been coming to me. So one of the common questions I've been asked is, this is from Crystal Children, is what am I? Crystal Children are not star seeds. Uh, they are a more of a hybridization of a star being. They are a more, rec a more recent, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Manifestation of star seeds. <laughs> Their powers are not exactly aligned with star seeds and by the way guys i'm not i'm not saying i'm an expert at any of this all of these messages that i'm going to share with you have been channeled i do not consider myself a crystal child or a star seed or anything like that it does not really resonate with me however a lot of crystal children and a lot of star seeds do come to me for guidance so i just wanted to share some more information uh, for these clients in particular on my YouTube channel. Crystal children are not star seeds. They are a manifestation of star seeds. Their powers are different. There is a very high level of empathy that comes with being a crystal child to the point where you mostly have the same abilities as somebody like me, which is telepathy. And I don't want to get any of these wrong, so I'm not going to venture off into all of my abilities but i'm going to venture off into the abilities that i have seen my crystal children that are my clients have okay so these include telepathy meaning that you can look at a picture at somebody and you can automatically connect to them you could look at a picture of a fish and automatically start having a conversation with them i bring up fish because fish are very telepathic uh they're more telepathic than cats dogs other animals uh, in my opinion, owls are very telepathic, cats are very telepathic. There's a bunch of other animals, but we are going to just do this basically. Um, we're going to keep this video kind of basic because I don't want to go on for this forever. But that is what tele uh, tel telepathy is. <laughs> you can be an empath and further your gifts into becoming telepathic, of course. I, in my opinion, everybody who is a genuine empath has the ability to become telepathic. If you could feel somebody's emotions, you can most likely know what they're thinking. You can most likely know what's going on in their head. It's easier for you to hack into their heads. However, I don't really see this as being the route for most crystal children that I have worked with. Most of their, most of them are benevolent. However. In the first year of starting this business, I would turn around, I would turn away a lot of star beings and crystal children because I don't exactly like working with spirits that I feel have more power than me and can overpower me. Just my personal preference. Um, I remember the first year I started doing this, I turned away a lot of people for mul for a multitude of reasons, not just um, not just that. Crystal children are very empathetic. They are very, how do I say this? Behind closed doors, they can be very emotional. They're deep thinkers. They think about um, their well-being, but also the well-being of others. 
Most of them cannot exactly eat meat. And this also circles back to star beings. Star beings, a lot of them that I know and I've worked with just really hate the taste of meat. They just don't like it for, some, for whatever reason. Uh, in my experience, crystal children feel like the texture of meat is a little bit off. Something's weird about it. Uh, and in that way, you know, that is the star seed, you know, um, co comparison, I guess a lot of uh, crystal children would be compared to star beings, maybe for that one feature. But as I said, I feel like crystal children are more of an extension of star seeds. They are more of a more recent manifestation that is very well needed. So when we go into um, crystal children, what I notice is that their guides may be similar to our earth guides that we think of. And when I say that, I mean Jesus Christ, Mother Mary. Um, and I'm talking about the guides that I connect to during every reading. Isis, I don't exactly ever see, I've never seen the Orishas on crystal children. I have seen King Solomon. We're not going to get into that. Um, I have seen other guides, okay? But I will see them as a manifestation of a more alien, Palladian-looking being rather than what I would consider Mother Mary to look like in human form or what I consider Archangel Michael to look like in human form. They just look different. When I go into their energy, they just look like um, Mother Mary, uh, Palladia's edition, to make it simple. And as, as I said, this is my experience working with crystal children. This is not read, this is not a script, this is everything that I have channeled about crystal children from the ones that I have worked with. So we went over the meat, we went over the guides, we went over the um how people will consider them to be a star seed when that's actually not the case okay another <laughs> telltale sign physical telltale sign about crystal children is their eyes their eyes are very different um i rarely see crystal children with black with um black brown eyes a lot of them will have bluish eyes, greenish eyes, two-colored eyes, two-color tone eyes, and their eyes will be very big, and they will just not look human. Okay? So, this is my video. This is my first video. I'm probably going to make a second one because uh, as more questions come through, for crystal children, I will try and tackle them up in one video so I do not have to spend my reading sessions going over everything that I've said here um, in a reading session. So they can just refer back to this. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was very brief. And um, if you guys would like a reading of your own, everything is in the description. Have a great day guys, bye.